regex. It is a simple but powerful tool that helps us to perform search, replace or validation operations. Although it has quite straightforward logic, sometimes it becomes literal hell to work with it. Things start to get complicated very quickly, understanding becomes difficult in each and every new edition. You just wanted a regex for simple validation and you spent hours for writing one. You feel like you are writing hieroglyphs, it's going nowhere. At that point, you just want to scream at the screen and get the regex. And the great part is, you can actually do it. Well, not by screaming, but by using a package named verbal expressions. It essentially has a verbal API, which consists of verbal elements such as then, maybe, or, not, and many more. To understand it better, let's go over an example. In this case, I will be using JavaScript. However, keep in mind that verbal expressions support other languages as well. To learn more about it, you can check its GitHub link in the description down below. Anyways, back to our example. Let's say that we have a bucket that collects logs from various resources. Assume that every resource uses a different logging naming convention, like some use this, some use that, and so on. Our goal is to create a regex that matches only with the following convention. We want our log names to start with log followed by the dates. Our dates may contain single or double digits, both are acceptable. However, we only want to accept hyphen or slash as our separator. So this can be valid, but this don't. Now let's look at how this can be done. First, we install the verbal expressions by using this command. Then we create an index file and inside that file we import our module by using this. After that, we initialize the verbal expressions and assign it as a constant. This will be our regex once we are done. Then, we literally add then and inside that we give it a string log. This is because we want our logs to start with it, so we use then to match it. Next up, we need to match date. To do it, we add digit and repeat previous with inputs 1 and 2. This will match the digit and that one makes sure that the digit is only repeated one or two times. After that, we need to add the separators, which in our case it's slash, hyphen or nothing. So to do it, we call the maybe method and supply them with our separator characters. Then we basically repeat this whole segment two times, once for checking months and once for checking years. However, as for the years, we need to accept both two and four digit year format. So we change repeat previous between two and four. And that's basically it. Now let's test it out and check if it works properly. To do it, first we add a very small dataset. In this dataset we have three correct and two incorrect names. To test them, we iterate over them and match them accordingly with the regex that we have generated from verbal expressions. And when we run it, there we go. We got three matches, which is what we have expected. Now there is one more thing that I want to show and that is the regex itself. If I print out the generated regex, as you can see, it is pretty complex. If I were to write that regex by myself, it would have probably taken a lot of time. So even in such a simple example, by using verbal expressions, I've managed to save a quite bit of time. And in the end, I hope you'll find it useful as well. If that is the case, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.